in order to set your sag, you're going to want to make sure that you have the proper spring rate on your bike. So the spring is what holds up the rider weight and the chassis weight of the motorcycle. This is going to set the balance of the front and the rear suspension, and you're going to want to make sure that they are set uh, together to uh, make sure that your bike is set up correctly. So the springs are pretty simple. They're just a, a wire coil that is that is wrapped up, and uh, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera here, but we have a 4-2 and a 5-2 spring rate, and this spring has a much smaller coil than this spring. It's going to have a larger uh, wire diameter, and that's going to make it a stiffer spring. So when you're talking about spring rates, a common thing that we get uh, that it seems counterintuitive sometimes is you have a, a rider who is actually overweight for the springs and he, he rides and he complains about the ride being harsh. And um, what's actually happening there is the bike is sagging too far down in the stroke and you're getting down into the uh, part of the spring that has, a, you basically have a lot of preload on the spring. and What's happening is now, instead of hitting a bump that's this big and it just soaking it up, that there's so much preload on the spring of that, that, that bike that it doesn't allow it to move anymore because, because the rider has sagged it down low, so far into the stroke that it has no more give. So uh, a very simple, it's a very simple fix. All you need to do is, is go up a spring rate. That way you are setting the, the sag back correctly to where the, the rider and the chassis needs it.